Hey, Randy Allen here from Engraving Concepts. Just wanted to go over a quick uh, review of the two different lenses that might show up on your Epilogue laser machine. This is the original lens assembly that came with the, gosh, original Edge, um, and even worked its way into the new Pro, and it's the same thing on the Maker. So this is the full lens assembly. You can see the lens in there, and I'll take this cap off. So as I remove this cap, you'll see that there is pretty much just the bottom and that's it. And so the idea is that you would take some lens cleaner epilogue lens cleaner and you would take some Q-tips put some lens cleaner on the Q-tip And wipe the bottom of the lens and the top of the lens clean and dry so you get that super shiny clean and dry and that's the way you clean the lens on the noose or the uh, lens assembly however this is the old style that does not have the insert in here so let me pull that off and show you what that looks like this is of course the air assist tube but I'll pull the other one off and so you can see. So here we're gonna pull off this new style lens assembly and show you what that looks like. So just the way we do all the standard makers, edges, open up the window, and then we'll pull the air assist tube down. And then we'll use the manual focus gauge right here and put that in the ring lens assembly. And there's a threaded part that works out. So this threaded part here is what gets tightened. And, but what we want to show is the bottom. So this is the newer set dial with an insert. Right here. So normally, in most circumstances, you could take a Q-tip with a lens cleaner and Put it inside there and get that as clean as needed. In the off chance you really need to get inside this, there is a way to do that, but we'll have to take this apart so that you can remove this insert to get to the lens um, a little better. So we'll show how to do that. So I'm going to pull this off. So with that air assist tube off, you can actually take this and loosen this piece right here. Take that out. Just set that up there for now. This will allow this to slide off. All right. There's a spring in there that keeps that pushed together. And then there is this part. Unscrewed. So with that apart, this will allow us to take our Q-tip and get that in there and clean that up the way it needs to be. Clean, dry, and shiny. And we'll put it all back together. But what that insert really helps is to keep and protect the lens from all of the blowback of the uh, fire, flames, residue, dust, smoke, sticky stuff getting back on the lens. So this is a really nice uh, revision to that previous generation assembly that looks the same. But if yours doesn't have this insert in it, I would get in touch with Epilogue Tech Support and get that in there. That'll help protect your lens for sure. So getting back to this, we'll just take our insert, push that back in. Tighten that back up. Okay, 
After further evaluation, when putting this insert back in, up you can go too far if you thread it too far into the barrel. So be sure that you're only threading that to where these two rims here meet and smooth all the way around. That's gonna be as far as you wanna go. If you go too far like I did, you can use some tape to kind of grab it, twist and turn it, because it's hard to kind of grip that. So that's as far as you wanna go. And now we'll take our uh, spring and our housing and put this back together. Okay, so we're gonna take our spring and we're just gonna drop that into the assembly. And we'll go facing like this, drop the spring in like so. And then we'll take our assembly here. We want to line this hole here up to that hole there, pushing that down. That will then allow us to use our brass fitting, insert that back into place. It is threaded there. Now to get this out, your brass fitting might be a bit tight I used pliers, but it's probably best to use Derek's suggestion to use that Allen wrench to get that out. It'd be less damaging to that brass fitting. So once this is back in, we'll be back in business. So that goes back in there. Our tube goes back in here. The bottom of our cone goes back over here. That'll go back into place. Close, done, we're done. Well, let me do it right. So close that. This is your manual focus gauge. That's what we use to get this tension here tightens. By the way, for those that are gonna take this off and clean, to be sure you're not damaging your Auto focus switch. This is your auto focus switch under here. The blue and black wire go to a limit switch. And when you're sliding this back on, we don't want to have this ring sliding or colliding with into that limit switch right there. So make sure you just let that hang and then slide that in loosely. Then tighten the ring up against the assembly to keep that snug. You can't forget this part or you'll have fuzzy engraving. So we wanna be sure you get this part tight. And then we can put that on. We'll use our manual focus gauge. And that could go in any one of these holes. That get that snug. And now we'll put that back in, close it. Now would be a good time to pull out the mirror. Check the mirror. Slide that back in, clean it if need be. Tighten that back down, don't forget that. And that can go back in there. So that's how you wanna be sure you get the window tight, get that snug, don't damage your switch. And that's how you clean and use the newer style lens assembly with the epilogues. Hope that helps.